Hello, this video is for people who know how to use WordPress, but are new to using Twentig plugin. Now I've got a fresh install of WordPress, but this installation is using 2022 theme, which is a full site editing theme. And in Twentig, 2022 theme works in a completely different way or a significantly different way to the classic theme version of Twentig. And because most people are using the classic version of Twentig, I'm going to install 2021 theme because that's what most people will be using. So I need to go to the dashboard, parents, themes. I'm going to activate 2021 theme. The most important difference between 20 with 2021 and 2022 themes is you don't have starter websites. Make sure I've got my 20 activated. So I've installed 20, but I need to activate it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do at the moment, I've got an empty website. This is all I've got. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a 20 starter website. And just go to appearance, customize. And in the customizer, I've got two important tabs. There's 20 options and there's 20 starter websites. I'm going to choose 20 starter websites and I can preview the websites by clicking this button. There are 10 to choose from as well as the standard 2021 theme. Now I want to install this theme called Kingston. So if I go back to my dashboard, I'm in Dashboard, Customizer, 20 Starter Websites, and I want to select Kingston. I'm going to choose all. I'm going to install the content and the customizer style. So I want to choose all, and I'm going to load. I've got to click the blue button that says leave this page. Now the Starter website's been installed, so I click Publish. Now I can close the customizer visit the website and that demo website has been installed with all the content. Now the beauty of this is I can just change the content. So I just pick something I want to edit, edit the page and I can type my own text. Now, one of the most important things with Twentig are patterns. And patterns are a fairly new idea to WordPress. But I'll make a new page and I can show you what patterns are. So I'll update, view the page. Now I can make a new page. So I'll click new, page. I'm going to call it patterns. Publish the page now. We click this button here, the block inserter, choose patterns, and I can build a page from patterns. So I want to start with a hero. So in the list here, go down to heroes, click the explore button. And I can choose any of these hero sections. I want to use this one called full screen hero cover. Let's put that pattern in my page. I want to add another pattern. Now this time I'm going to use text. So click this icon again, patterns, choose text from this list, explore, I want to use this heading and lead paragraph. That's been inserted under the pattern I inserted before. Now another one, I want to install some columns. I want to, I want to use the uh, block inserter patterns. This time I'm looking for columns, explore. And I want three columns. Now one more time, block inserter, patterns. I want team this time, 
explore. And I want team list. So now I've made a web page in just a few minutes. So I want to change this background image. So I click the block, replace, upper media library. I could upload an image, but I've got this in my media library. And if I want to, I just click the text to type my own text in. Now, if you scroll down to the columns, select that. This list view makes it easier to select things. Now, you want to be careful with patterns because they, they're grouped. So each pattern is a, a group block with other blocks inside it. So I want to choose this group. Now I need to drill down. So I'm looking for the columns block. We've got columns and individual column inside there. So there's the columns block and column, column, column. But as you drill down, the settings in this WordPress settings here, the WordPress settings change as you drill down. So here I've got 20 settings and in the 20 settings for the columns block, not an individual column, but columns, I need to choose column style and that's in the 20 settings. And I'm going to choose gray card. Now I've chosen grey card because what I want to actually do is to have two colours. Colours on the outside and a different colour in the middle. So to choose this one, I need now to select that column. And if I go to colour, background, I can now choose a different colour for that block just to make it stand out. Now the WordPress settings sidebar has a lot of options, but the ones we're interested in is first you select a block and then you look at these options in the WordPress settings sidebar. So we've got styles, 20 settings and advanced. So three tabs that we need to take note of styles, 20 settings and advanced. The styles tab is a standard WordPress tab but 20 adds extra styles for certain blocks. 20 settings is a 20 tab that you won't have on a standard WordPress website. It comes when you install 20 and there's all sorts of settings available for different blocks. So just make sure you look at the 20 settings when your block is selected. And in the advanced tab, there's margin top and bottom and there's these hide on desktop and hide on mobile uh, toggle switches. Now there's also this additional CSS classes option down here and that lets you add little extra styling options to certain blocks. See here I've got the heading selected and one of the options is eyebrow. So if I change the heading to an eyebrow style, the styling changes. I choose the columns block. Advanced. Now I can make the columns rounded. So just the corners of the colors of columns have been rounded there. I'll show you some of the styles of the 20 starter websites. This is lettuce and this has got what's called a merged header. This one has a traditional navbar at the top with a hero here. And this one has just text headline at the top with an image below it. Now 
Now, there are too many options in the customizer for me to go through each one of them. But if you stop the video at this point, you'll be able to get a good idea of where the different options are. But remember, this is using 2021 theme, not 2022 theme. If you look through and try and find the thing you want to edit and then work your way back through the customizer tabs. I couldn't cover everything in this video. I've made a separate video about page templates, page heroes and blog post headers. If you're using 2021 theme, I recommend you watch that video next. Well, that's it for this video. We've been using the 20 plugin with 2021 theme. And this really is a big step forward for WordPress. The block editor and the full site editor are new things and with Twentig if you want to you can use a full site editor but it's, it's a steep learning curve if you decide to uh, to move on to the full site editor or you can use 2021 theme with these different starter websites thanks for watching and bye for now